Good morning, my students. In this video, we'll revise together the present tenses, which is the present simple and the present continuous. So we'll know the difference when can we use the present simple and when can we use the present continuous. Let's begin together. If I'm speaking about what this man do every day, so I use the present simple. So I'll say he runs every morning. But if I'm going to speak about what he is doing right now, so I'll use the present continuous. I'll say he is running now. So in the first picture, I speak, ab I speak about habit, his habit, what he, he does every day. But in the next, in the second picture, so I'm speaking about what he is doing right now. What do you think about this one? I want to write the sentences. How can I use it? I'll say in the first one, she every day. So she draws every day. But what about the next picture? I'm speaking about what she is doing right now. So she is drawing now. So I use the present simple when I speak about a habit or something she does every day. But I use the present continuous when I speak about what she is doing right now. Let's have an exercise here. I have some keywords. So, which keywords I use with the present simple and which I use with the present continuous? What do you think? Yes, every Sunday I use it with the present simple. In the evenings, I mean every evening. So, I use it with the present simple. In my free time, I use it with my in the with the present simple. It's habit. Whenever I have a free time, I do this. So and on Wednesdays, when Wednesdays. So I use the present simple with every Sunday in the evenings on Wednesdays in my free time. What about the present continuous? I use the present continuous when I speak about things I'm doing right now or at the moment. I use the verbs in the present simple. Iron and watch. What's the difference between them? If I'm going to speak about iron, so I'll put iron as it is with, the, with I and you. What about he or she or it? I have to add us. So it's going to be irons. With we, I keep the verb as it is. With you, I keep the verb as it is. And with they, I keep the verb as it is. What about watch? How can I write verb watch with all the subjects? For example, with I, I keep the verb as it is. I write watch. With you, I, I write watch. But with he or she or it, I have to add S. But here I have CH at the end. So I'll add ES. So with he or she or it, I have to put watches. With we, I keep the verb as it is. With you, I keep the verb as it is. And with they, I keep the verb as it is without changing anything. What about the ing forms? For example, how can I add ing to these verbs? First, I have play. I'll add ing. Make is going to be making. Can I put ing without crossing the e? So I have to cross the e first and then write ing. Have the same. I have to cross the e. Swim. What do you think about swim? I have m. But before the M, I have vowel, I. So I have to double the M before I add ING. is going to be swimming. Sit, sitting. 
Ski, skiing, double D vowel. Study, yes, I add ing without doing anything. Going, without doing anything, I add in ing. Setting, I have to double the T because I have vowel before the last consonant. Okay, let's have some practice to differentiate between the present simple and the present continuous. For example, I have in the first one, Emily to the disco every Friday. So am I going to say is going or goes or is goes? Number two, Peter and his sister, the car on Sundays. So I'll say washes or are washing or wash. Then I have ITV at the moment means now. So am I going to say is watching or watch or am watching? My brother attest now. So I'll say is writing or is writing like this or writes. Look, you on my comic. So I'll say sit or are sitting or are sitting like this. Okay, let's look at the whole page. Number one, Emily to the disco every Friday. So this sentence is present simple or present continuous. I speak about her habit. Every Friday, she what to the disco? Yes, excellent, she goes to the disco because I'm speaking about her habit, so I use the present simple. And the present simple with he or she or it, I have to add S or ES or IES. Number two, Peter and his sister, the car on Sundays. On Sundays means every Sunday, so it's their habit. Okay, I have here one or more than one. I have Peter and his sister. So what I'm going to use first. First, I'll use the present simple because I speak here about their habit. Second, what I use with the, if I have plural more than one, like they. I do what in the present simple? I keep the verb as it is. So it's going to be Peter and his sister wash the car on Sundays. Number three, I TV at the moment. So I'm speaking about what I'm doing right now. So I use which tense? Yes, excellent, the present continuous. And the present continuous, as we said before, consists of two parts. Am or is or are, verb to be, and then I add ing to the verb. So I'll say I'm watching TV at the moment. I'm watching TV at the moment. Number four, my brother attests now. So, I'm speaking about what he is doing right now. So, I have to use the present continuous. With he or she or it, I put is, and then I put the verb plus ing. What do you think? Which one I can use? A or B? Can I put the verb with E and then put ing, or I have to cross the E first? Yes, excellent. It should be, it is writing without E. Number five, look. You on my comic. When I say look, I'm speaking about what's happening right now or it's a habit. I'm speaking about what's happening right now. I want you to look at it now. So you on my comic, I have to use the present continuous because I'm speaking about things in progress. So you, I have to put verb to be and then ing to the verb. I have to put with you, are, and then I have the verb sit. Can I say sit with only one T or double T? Yes, excellent, with the double T because I have vowel before the T. So you are sitting on my comic. What about the questions? How can I make the question? If I have he is swimming in the sea and he swims in the sea in his free time. How can I make interrogative form? So he is swimming in the sea. I have to begin with I. I'll make the scissor. So I'll say, is he swimming in the sea? 
and I have to put question mark at the end. Is he swimming in the sea? What about the next one? He swims in the sea in his free time. So I have to begin with what if I have S in the verb? Yes, excellent. I have to say, does he swim in the sea in his free time? And I put question mark. And I never ever put S whenever I have does. So does, as we said before, is very strong. When it comes to the verb, it returned back to the infinitive. What about this one? I have. They make the beds every day. She is ironing the clothes now. Molly plays tennis in the free time. You are having a shower. If I'm going to make interrogative form in the first one, so I'll begin with do. Do they make the beds every day? I have here she is ironing the clothes now, so I'll begin with is. Is she ironing the clothes now? Molly plays tennis in her free time, so I have s in the verb, I'll put does. Does Molly play tennis in her free time? You're having a shower, so I have to begin with are. Are you having a shower? Okay, what about the negative form? How can I make the negative? She isn't playing the violin. She doesn't play the violin in her free time. Also, we have to make the negative of these sentences. We are cooking dinner now. They collect stamps. I like tea, she is having a shower, she plays the guitar, I'm listening to the teacher. In the first one we have we are cooking dinner now. So how can I make negative if I have am or is or or? I put aren't or isn't or am not. So here the negative form is going to be we aren't cooking dinner now. What about they collect stamps? Do I have am or is or or here? No. Do I have s? No, so I have to make the negative with don't. They don't collect stamps. I like tea. Do I have S? No, I use don't, so I don't like tea. She is having a shower. She is having, so I have is here. So I'll say she isn't having a shower. She plays the guitar. So plays, I have S, so I put the negative with doesn't she doesn't play the guitar i'm listening to the teacher okay how can i make the negative of i'm i'm not listening to the teacher thank you my students i hope you enjoyed our today's lesson